Well, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, obviously, a big finish to our fall semester on the road, um, playing that uh, in Las Vegas against number four in the country, undefeated. I don't know, there's not but a, less than a handful of teams left that are undefeated, and they're one of them. And they're obviously really good. Uh, this is the the second half of our. I don't know of anybody else in the country in non-conference that schedules the two teams that played for the national championship. So uh, the other three I inherited, this one I scheduled. So, um, you know, excited about the opportunity uh, to be able to go. And I know uh, Coach Beard's excited about playing Stanford um, in the game before us in T-Mobile out in Las Vegas and then us having the chance to play on national TV against Arizona. Extremely well coached, veteran team. Uh, just uh, kind of a mirror image, really. They play tough, they're physical, aggressive, especially defensively. Um, and uh, they got really good players. So, um, you know, Dia's done an incredible job building that program. Um, incredible fan base there in Tucson. and. Uh, um, I'm sure they'll have a good following uh, going a short distance to to Las Vegas. So it's going to be a big challenge for us. Uh, I'm excited about the opportunity, though, as I always am. I'm always anxious to see how our kids uh, play in the next game, and uh, this is the next game. So we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll leave tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll work out here, and then leave tomorrow morning, and, and get out there and. Uh, the only time we can shoot in that arena is tomorrow night. Well, I don't like that at all. I know Chris don't either. But it is what it is. So we got to get there in time where we can go out there and, and have about an hour in that facility and get some shots up. So uh, excited, though, again, to, to take our team. I'm excited to see us play. Why do you want this? Uh, it was hard. First of all, it was hard to find teams to play us. I mean, we were. This was kind of a late addition, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it just, we couldn't find people to play. I couldn't get people to come here. This one's on a neutral floor. Um, you know, it's, it's not gonna hurt us with the, you know, with in, the, in, the, in the tournament, it, it, it helps you as far as who you're playing. And, you know, we've, we've had three really good ones before this. We're a, we're a missed free throw a free throw block out for being undefeated ourselves, And I told the kids that today. I mean, when we play, we're good enough. And, and you know, you hopefully you learn from that game and you don't let it happen again. So that's kind of where our team is right now. And uh, I'm awfully proud of, of, you know, what we've been able to accomplish so far. Is, is, that, the, is that the challenge in scheduling though is, because to be honest, we love it. We love seeing Back to back to back to back weekends of Tennessee and Stanford and, and Arizona. Is that because it's great to get them prepared, but you've also got to find the well. You, the thing, the the hard part of that though is, is that I got to get some of my young ones some playing time, and it's hard to play those freshmen through their mistakes on the road at Stanford, at A and M, at Tennessee. I mean, you you can you can play them through mistakes here at home against some of the teams that we've played, but. When you when you go in those those are all one possession games, and it's you, you can't afford to have uh, those mistakes where uh, you guys would be amazed if you were on the floor watching us practice how much I go through our offenses and our out of bounds plays just to make sure everybody knows what to do and where they're supposed to be. Like it's almost Christmas and we're still making sure I got to make sure they know their playbook. And, you know, in defense of them, especially our young kids and Kobe and Femme, it's more, we got more in right now, and I probably only have half the playbook in, but we got more in right now than they've ever had in their lives. So it's, it's hard. And um, so uh, it, it is, you know, it is what it is. It's where we are right now. And, uh, again, it's hard to play them through some of those mental lapses in big ball games. So we're getting closer and closer. Those kids are all coming. And, it's been nice to have Kobe and, and uh, Kendall back in practice for a week now, um, get some of those guards back, uh, you know, and, and uh, we're getting close to getting everybody back.
you kind of you took the team to the Elite Eight last year. You've been at College Station in Tennessee and, and all that. Do you know what you're, what you're going to see from your girls in such a big stage against a, another top ten team? I mean, you'd like to think you know. I mean, I, look, it's college athletics, y'all. You know, I talked to a, a dear friend of mine the other night, and uh, he just brought his veteran team back from going on the road, and he got beat. He says one of the top five worst defeats in his career. Well, that's bad, but that's college athletics. You're taking kids on the road. Sometimes you just you don't know what's going to happen. And so uh, that's my job, though, to make sure. And I told Joe and Audrey today in film, hey, it's your senior year. You make sure it doesn't happen. You make sure that everybody's focused in practice. You make sure we have good practices leading up to games. You make sure that everybody's ready, that we don't have people sauntering out to the court five minutes late, ten minutes late, when you're supposed to be out there an hour and 15 minutes before the game starts. And you got two kids, you know, three kids wandering out there. You're late. You got a couple kids sauntering in late to stretching for a shoot around. These are little things, y'all, that are important. And so, you know, you kind of try to want them to kind of hold each other accountable. And uh, again, I got a lot of confidence in my team if the right team shows up. And what's kind of odd is that we've been more focused on the road than we've been at home. And, um, uh, which is a good thing because my next game's on the road. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you mentioned though is that for some, like for Latasha to, to get to play through some of that stuff the other night, is that does that give you the confidence to play her in, in bigger games? Does that, or does absolutely. she still need to develop some of that stuff to be able? to Yeah, play? no, absolutely. That's why I needed to play her. I mean, Latasha's gonna be really good, y'all. She's she's really gonna be special, and just getting her, you know, bless the kid's heart. She's less than a year removed from that, you know, that injury. So she's still early, and you know how it is. It's the confidence factor, right? It's the fear factor. It's getting over all that of what's happened. That's the biggest part for her is just getting that confidence in her leg where she can turn it loose. And I've seen her have flashes of turning it loose in games, and you just want her to go, hey, I'm good. I feel good. I trust my, you know, I got a brace on, and, and so, that's what you want to see her do because if she'll turn it loose, she might make a mistake, but she can probably cover up two or three just with her athleticism, her length, her size. She can shoot it. The kid's got some a, a great shot. You can't get to her shot. Um, so she's one that she just needs playing time, and she's going to really, I think, take off. On, on trips like this, they get to see anything? Yeah, so um, we'll take them to, a, um, uh, I think they're going to a magic show, you know, on Friday night uh, after we shoot. It's a real tight turnaround. We got to shoot, get a quick shower, throw some food down, and get to a, an early magic show. Not, you know, nothing late, uh, but an early, ma you know, let them experience a little bit of the culture. Um, Saturday, you know, we practice at UNLV, not where we play, but by then, the game plan will have already been in, as they say, the hay's in the barn. We just got to go over the stuff and make sure we know what we're doing. And, and then Sunday, again, we don't get to shoot in that facility, so we'll go back to UNLV and have our shoot around. So a lot of it's going to be redundant, you know, we, we, uh, but that's okay. You know, familiarity is never bad. And so uh, Saturday will be game mode. You know, we'll wake up, we'll have film. Um, They'll be excited because there's no study hall because, you know, school's out. And, uh, um, but it, Saturday will be a game mode day and then obviously Sunday too. And then, you know, the next portion of that trip going to New York, they're going to get to experience uh, Broadway play, you know, which is really cool. I never got to experience that, y'all, until I got into coaching. We'll get our picture taken downtown with the Christmas tree, um, you know, as a team. and, and uh, and so they'll get to experience some of the culture of New York. And, uh, and then the, the next day, um, it'll be all business and game prep, game day. And then we play real early, you know, on the 22nd. And so, you know, hopefully you play, you, 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 you take care of business, and then you got a chance to get them home that night where they can get to their families and have some downtime. They've earned it. It's really hard what they do. I've that, said that to y'all. So uh, 
I just want us to finish strong. We really want us to play well, want us to compete. This is a great opportunity. I, I think you go in there against, uh, you know, Arizona and you just turn it loose. I mean, you can't, if you just go in there and play your guts out, hey, I, I'll be completely fine. How'd you pick a magic show? I, you know, uh, it's good, clean fun. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what we're, we're taking them to. And it's somebody pretty good. You know, uh, it's not, not an oldie, but a goodie, but I think somebody that's kind of in today's world and does some pretty cool things. And so, uh, um, you know, I'm excited for them to be able to go in there and experience that. And, and uh, um, you know, as y'all know, that's a unique place. And, uh, you know, they'll get to experience and see a lot of things, um, but it'll be in a controlled environment. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the biggest challenge with Arizona? What, what, Watch them on tape. Yeah, they they uh, they're veterans. Um, you know, Adia does a great job, coach. Again, they they are really aggressive. They they want to press you. If you if you set ball screens, they're going to jump and double you every time. Um, they're just going to challenge you to make plays. You're you're you know they're forcing 20 turnovers a game. Well, that's looking in the mirror, and so that's how hard they do it. And they aren't doing it standing around in a two three zone just like we don't. So. I think it's a matter of, you know, we always say you got to attack pressure with pressure. And uh, at the same time, you know, those kids, the makeup of that team, a lot of them were in that national championship game a year ago. And so they're veterans. They've, you know, the thing about those older kids is they've been, they've won the WNIT championship in postseason. They've played for the national championship in postseason. So this is a veteran, veteran team. And, um, and they play well together. Their chemistry is outstanding. I just think they're, they have a great, they, they have great chemistry and their plan, both ends, is solid as a rock. It's, you know, again, it's, it's my kind of team. So it's gonna kind of be, you know, I, I challenged our team today and told them, hey, you can't, we gotta go in there and you gotta know, they're gonna play just like our men's practice team. You, you know, we're gonna look at them on tape and go, hey, they try to do the same things we try to do. And so that's, that's our challenge with, with our team going in is we've got to be able to handle that. And uh, again, I've got some young kids going against some veteran old kids on that other team. And so that's going to be, a, that's going to be the challenge for us. All right. Praise the Lord. Appreciate y'all.